Okay, Unit 8, Lecture 3, what will be A of possibly AB, okay? Um, a couple things. Not everyone loved the New Deal, all right? Roosevelt's going to meet with opposition and complaints from people on all sides of the political spectrum. <clears throat> Liberals are going to claim that it did too little for minorities and the unemployed and did too much for business. Conservatives are going to complain about the new regulations, about the deficit spending. Ask me about that in class. Um, and the pro-union stance in the New Deal. Conservatives are going to claim the New Deal is socialism um, and threatens our rights. And it's going to increase the power of the presidency to the point where it smashes separation of powers. Okay, um, So that's some complaints about the New Deal. Okay, Now, although the Great Depression doesn't end until World War II, um, so the New Deal probably doesn't get us out of the Depression. It does provide hope for millions of Americans during one of the most difficult decades in our nation's history. Um, and the New Deal has some lasting results you should be aware of. Right? It permanently changes the role of the American government in the economy. The New Deal fosters or encourages changes in people's attitudes towards government's responsibilities. Okay? Organized labor, unions... Um, acquire new rights, like the right to form a union, the right to strike. Um, they're going to get a minimum wage, okay? Uh, and the New Deal is set in place um, federal legislation that reshape modern American capitalism, okay? Things like the FDIC, Federal Deposit Insurance Corps, which um, is seen as critical to sound banking. Um, the Social Security Act, which provides a public, or the public with a safety net, all right? So, in short, the legacy of the New Deal influences the public's belief in the responsibility of the government to deliver some public services, to intervene when necessary in the economy, and to act in ways that promote the general welfare. Remember the preamble. Okay, now I want to go over just a couple quick um, of New Deal programs that I want you to be aware of. Okay, um, let me just see if I can find it. No, that's not it. There we go. Okay, so security exchanges on um, the first one, this program. Um, the people had stopped believing in the stock market, did not trust the stock market anymore. All right, corruption and greed had ruled the day. Um, we had three in the 1920s, three um, Republican laissez faire presidents Coolidge, Harding, and Hoover, and they're sometimes referred to as the do nothing presidents because they left the stock market alone. <clears throat> so the SEC policy uh, polices the stock market. All right, that's their job. They look for illegal trades. This is the group that caught Martha Stewart. Um, it's there to restore confidence in investors and uh, keep confidence of investors today so that people feel comfortable putting their money in the stock market. Okay, The head of the SEE, the Security and Exchange Program, is, is picked by the president. Civilian Conservation Corps, I wanted to be aware of. Um, it provided jobs for men 18 to 25. <laughs> it's an unemployment program, and um, this economic idea is to get these people making things and earning some money. All right, um, They're set up in barracks and camps, so most of their money goes home to their families so, for living expenses. All right, So it gives people an income to survive. Um, the third one is the TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, which I spelt wrong on that um, chalkboard there. I apologize for that. Um, the TVA is, um, provides jobs building dams in the rural south. Okay, provide electricity and modernization in the rural south. Okay, so it's important. It brings electricity to places that didn't have any. The government built dams. All right, the fourth one is the Works Progress Administration. Okay, WPA. This provided jobs for artists, playwrights, writers, and actors. Okay, propaganda kind of was the, sometimes seen as the result of um, uh, art that advocated and promoted the New Deal. Um, the idea, again, is that um, employment is a good thing. These people are making money and spending money and paying taxes. Okay, let me just see if I can get this a little. This has some descriptions for you, too. Uh, no, I can't. Maybe make it a little more clear, okay? Um, so that was the um, WPA, the AAA Agricultural Adjustment Act. Um, this is going to be declared unconstitutional, though a form of it um, is still around today, okay? It pays subsidies. It pays the farmers not to grow crops. So it meant um, a stabilization of crop prices, okay, that um, worked with supply and demand. It kept the farmers in money, okay? Um, and this is one of the causes of the court packing, which I'll talk about later. All right, so that's um, Unit 8, Lecture 3A. I'll continue with B.